In this quick video, I'm going to be showing you how to use shape tweens in Flash. And this function allows you to morph different vector shapes into one another, and it's really cool. So to start with, I'm going to do a really simple example. So I'm going to morph a rectangle into an oval. So I'll just start by making my rectangle shape. And next, I'm going to leave about 10 frames and put a blank keyframe here. And so this is where I'm going to draw my new shape. So to help me position it, I'm going to turn on the onion skin here. And then I'm going to draw my oval. So my main tip when using the shape tween is to make sure that your different shapes are similar size and position. And this really helps when a flash is calculating the in-between frames. So I'm going to draw uh, just a similar size and then I'm going to put it in a similar position. So that will do great. And next, I'm just going to turn off onion skin, and then the next bit is super simple. I'm just going to select all my frames, right click, and press create shape tween. So you'll notice right away that the tween for shape tweens is actually green, and this is to make sure it stands out against other types of tweens. All right, so let's check out the result. So we've got this really nice, sort of seamless morph between the two shapes, so, so it's looking really cool. So I'm just going to undo the tween. So you might think that you can only just tween between one shape and another, but you can actually do a whole sequence if you want to. So I'm just going to go to about frame 20, I'm going to do uh, a different shape. So I'll just put on the onion skin again. I'm going to choose polystar for this. And yet again I'm going to make sure it's a similar size and position. Let's quickly move it a bit into position here. All right, great, so let's check out this new sequence. So I'm gonna select all of them and go on Shape Tween. All right, cool, so we've got this really cool little animated sequence here. And the actual Shape Tween morphing has gone really well. And the main reason this has happened is because the shapes themselves are fairly similar to each other. And so I've got an example which I made earlier. All right, so in this example, we've gone from having an octagon shape to a much more complicated house object. So I want to see what happens when I try and do a shape tween on these two very different objects. So let's check it out. Alright, so the effect you get is a very bizarre effect and it really is quite an eyesore. And the reason why this doesn't work is because you've gone from an eight-sided shape to uh, basically a much more complicated shape really. Um, so what's happening is the octagon is trying to compensate by making these spirally uh, sort of shapes here. So in the end you get this sort of a mess of a transition. So to reiterate, my main tip is just, just to make sure that the shapes which you're tweening between are relatively similar. So a relatively similar amount of sides and vertices and you'll be great. Alright, so I hope you found this tutorial useful and as always, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe.